I've now lived in Kazakhstan five years. Um, it's a country which I joined and I knew pretty much nothing about Kazakhstan. So I took a kind of a step, a leap of faith. It's been the best five years of my life. I feel like I've been here for a short amount of time, but I feel so settled that I feel like I've been here for months already, which is a good thing because that's how you know, comforting the whole process has been and everyone's been so welcoming and that straight off the bat when I arrived off the plane, I felt at home almost instantly. When you get into the city itself, the architecture is something that just blows you away. No two buildings in Astana can be designed or built the same. So you have this real eclectic mix of, of architecture and design. When I first came here, many of my friends were like, what is this place like? Um, life here is comfortable. There are lots of places to eat and drink. The buildings are all the stereotypes which you will hear about Kazakhstan. Um, are wrong. It's a very pleasant city, flats are new, they're well furnished. In the cities it's a very European style. The main uh, thing that I like about Kazakh people is uh, how nice and how open they are to foreigners. Uh, they generally they come to you on the street and uh, you know they just generally want to know what your experience is about uh, this, uh, this country and it's really, really nice. There's this every March, the Nowruz Festival. I think that's one of the most memorable experiences that I have here while staying in Kazakhstan. And another thing is the first bell. The first day of school, they have to ring the bell. And at the end of the school, they also like to ring the last bell. And I think that's very memorable for the students and teachers as well. I really love the setting of the school. It's in a lovely natural environment, surrounded by parks. So you can see the seasons changing outside your classroom. We're really lucky, we have lots of facilities from our swimming pool, which is available for both the students and also for the staff after school, which is great. Um, we have a new sports hall, which is amazing. We have lots of different things for creative activities. We have a performing arts room, we have lots of music rooms, lots of instruments. So we're very, very lucky to have so many different amenities. And the building itself is really quite interesting. It's quite spacious, but at the same time, there's a really cozy, warm atmosphere. And I think that comes from the community that are here. My oldest daughter is absolutely loving it. My youngest daughter comes home telling us stories every single day. I love my classroom. I've got, I'm really lucky with my classroom. I've got like the Makerspace, the Steam Centre. I got more equipment turning up yesterday when I was in there. Uh, so everything's arriving over time and it's just getting bigger and better the classroom. When I came here, I encountered a very good school with really, really polite students. Um, it was a nice working environment and for me that was important. The most important thing and the most exciting part of the day is being in the lesson with the students because of who they are simply and what they are capable of doing while the ability academic ability is different from student to another one guaranteed thing is students are hard working overall the campus provides an enriching environment for both students and teachers fostering their academic growth and holistic development Our HR team is considered a top-notch team among international schools and for good reason. We handle the entire employee journey from hiring to relocation and onboarding and we provide the ongoing support once you are in the school. We arrange the visa process in a way that our teachers don't have to wait in line to obtain them. We coordinate our staff's accommodation. Before you arrive, you can choose the apartment you like the most. We even provide a welcome pack waiting for everyone in their new apartments. Our staff also have the opportunity for annual flights home. We offer very generous allowance. We also have great insurance, a health insurance package with Bupa. We offer meals, transportations, and access to a very well equipped gym and a pool. Uh, honestly, I don't see the reason not to start working with us right now. 
where we live down by the riverside there's a lot of um there's a lot of bars and restaurants so we all meet together we've got an amazing social committee that um put some things on for us like bowling and going out and things like that so we can all get together and kind of regroup and debrief as it were from the week uh, that we've had throughout the year we do a range of activities for our staff and this can be both inside school and outside of school some of these will include things like celebrations for teachers day or our end of year christmas party in december or our end of academic year which is the big great celebration which is usually really great fun yeah i think as well as the events there's a really lovely community feeling here um, I know that where we live people look after each other look out for each other and um, there's a nice relaxed atmosphere when it comes to casual social events as well so Astana offers a range of shopping experiences from expensive boutiques to bazaars. We usually go to Kanchatir and Mega Silkway, and there are international and local brands there. During weekends or term breaks, we would usually go ice skating, watch yoga shows, or swim in Island Aqua Park. Island also has an aquarium with a mermaid, with a real live mermaid. There was also a, a Ferris wheel, which we rode on. I really like being there. I've traveled within Kazakhstan a little bit, but I went down south um, with a colleague and we explored uh, Almaty and the surroundings, the canyon, the nature, the beautiful nature and the scenery. I really enjoyed that. Mountain is there and if you like skiing, there is a place called Chimbolak, which is beautiful. There is the Kolsai Lake, there is the Kandai Lake, which is one of the things that you don't see in many other countries. It's basically a forest that was submerged with water. The canyons around Almaty, you have the city of Shemkent and the hospitability of the south of Kazakhstan. It's a very nice place to visit towards the west have the possibility to go to Aktau, which is a city set on the Caspian Sea. Sometimes my colleagues will comment like, this feels like of the outer world. And not only that, so this is only Kazakhstan. That's why I said we can talk about it for a long time. There are so many interesting, amazing and popular destinations to go to uh, with direct flights such as beautiful country of Uzbekistan and very warm Turkey in winter months. Uh, probably the most uh, popular destination for Kazakh people uh, to go to with their families is Dubai, UAE. Also, you can visit so many beautiful uh, countries with great history uh, and uh, amazing sightseeing like Germany, Poland and Georgia and uh, also you can explore our neighbors like Kyrgyzstan. In general, our country gives you a lot of opportunities to go and explore different places, different countries, different continents, and uh, I'm pretty sure you will enjoy it. The winter here is really, truly beautiful. The grounds is all covered in snow and it's really beautiful to look at from outside your apartment window. And so I think that that's something you, you could really look forward to. Here, there are lots of fun activities to do in the snow, like sledding or snow tubing, um, having snowball fights, building snow forts, or making snow angels. I think that's really great and th that's really fun. That's a really fun thing to do here in Astana. During winter especially. Mm -hmm. My wife did a little bit of research into the country so she really wants to be somewhere that she knows is safe because she spends the day walking around, going to the shops. Astana definitely feels like an incredibly safe city to live in. I think that's partially because of the fact that the people here are so incredibly welcoming and open. Uh, even with my limited ability in the Kazakh language, um, I found that people will happily go out of their way to help. The school has a strong sense of community. For example, um, just this week we celebrated Haleybury Day. It was so much fun. My booth was the photo booth and it was really great to see parents, teachers, staff and students participate to make the event successful. Um, and and it was all for a good cause. The money raised was all meant for charity. Personally, 
I am truly grateful for the opportunity to be working with uh, a, a diverse community. Yes, definitely an honor to be part of such dedicated and supportive community. And it has been a fulfilling and rewarding experience here teaching in Kazakhstan. Uh, we have staff who stay with us for many years. They go on and often when we're looking at recruitment, staff will say, oh, I spoke to somebody in Halebury in Kazakhstan and they had a great experience. That's why I've applied. It's kind of making people aware um, that of what is an opp opportunity here. So if I hope the video shows that and gives a real honest picture. Kazakhstan is a hidden gem. Most people do not know about this country. And I think the more that Kazakhstan develops, the more that people get to understand Kazakhstan, um, I think the better it will be. So if you're looking to develop your teaching career in a modern and forward-looking working environment, an atmosphere of constant support, then look no further. Come and join the team in Heidelberg Astana. Kazakhstan ha koshkildenizdir.